Hello YouTube, or Twitch, or Facebook, or whoever sees this video. Okay, so today we are going to go through a few chords on the guitar. Now, before we go through the chords on the guitar, we have to know the strings, okay? So, the sixth string is the E, and it sounds like this. That's the low E, by the way. And then we have the A, sounds like this. We have G, oh sorry, we have D. Uh, we have G, we have B. And we have the high E. And when I say high, I don't mean in comparison to the floor, I mean in pitch. So, our first chord is pretty simple. It's the A major, and you put your first finger on the second fret of the D string. You put your middle finger on the second fret of the G string, and then you put your index finger or your ring finger on the second fret of the B string. So it should sound like this. Um, okay, so let's see. The B is kind of difficult. You put your pointer finger on the second fret of the of the the A string. You put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the G string, wait I did say put your first, your pointer finger on the second fret of the A string, then put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string, right? Um, then put your pinky finger on the fourth fret of the G string and it should sound like this. Very nice chord. Um, Let's see. Okay, now we have C. So put your first finger, your pointer finger, on the first fret of the B string. Take your middle finger and put it on the second fret of the D string. 
and then take your ring finger and put it on the third fret of the A string and it should sound like this. Okay, so um that was C. Um now our D is a little bit more complicated. Hold on, my phone is going off. Okay, now you have my full undivided attention. Okay, now the D, it's kind of complicated and uncomplicated at the same time. I kind of use geometry to explain this one, but you take your pointer finger and put it on the second fret of the G string, you take your middle finger and you put it on the second fret of the high E string, and then finally you take your ring finger and put it on the uh, third fret of the B string and it should sound like this. Very nice chord. Um, okay, so then you have your E. So you take your middle finger and you put it on the second fret of the A string. Then you take your ring finger and you put it on the second fret of the D string. And then you take your pointer finger and you put it on the first fret of the G string and that should sound like this. Okay, so you, um, we got the E down. Uh, here, let me play it again for you since my phone was ringing. Okay, um, let's see, now we have the G, okay, um, you take your first finger, your pointer finger, and you put it on the second fret of the A string, you take your middle finger and you put it on the third fret of the low E string and you could get away with playing a G like that but technically a full G would be where you take your ring finger and you put it on the second fret of the B string And there's variations on those chords, um, such as the A minor, the E minor, you know, the G9. There's the 
C9. Uh, C7. Uh, there's this G, I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, there is the I never went through X, did I? So, uh, the F is similar to the, the F is similar to the C. You take your pointer finger and you put it on the first fret of the B string. You take your middle finger and you put it on the third fret of the G string and then you take your ring finger and you put it wait sorry take your middle finger and put it on the second fret of the G string and then you take your ring finger and you put it on the third fret of the D string and that should sound like this okay now that is gonna be a video for right now I will um I will teach you the variations on those chords although not all the variations I don't think I know all the variations although um but I'll teach you those next time in the next video and you better be there or I'm gonna be pissed